I'm going to read the The Adventure of Huckleberry Finn, Chapter 4. Well, three or four months is so long, 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 long. And it was well into the winter now. I had been to school most of the time and could spell and read and write just a little and could say the multiplication table up to six times seven is 35. And I don't like when I could ever get any further than that if I was to read. However, I don't take no stock in mathematics anyway. At first, I hated the school, but by and by I got so I could stand it. Whenever I got uncommon tired, I'd play the hooky and the hiding I got next day done me good and cheered me up. So the longer I went to the school, the easier it got to be. I was getting so used to the used to the widow's ways too, and they weren't so last on me. Living in a house and sleeping in a bed full on me and pretty tight mostly. My people the cold weather I used to slide out and sleep in the woods sometimes and so that was a last to me. I liked the old ways best. But I was getting so I liked the new ones too a little bit. The widow said as I was coming along close by sure and doing the very the spectre she said she won't ashamed of me. One morning I happened to turn over the soul uh, cellar at breakfast. I leached for some of it as quick as I could to throw my left shoulder and keep all the bad luck. When Miss Watson was in ahead of me and close to me all, she says, take your hands away, Huckleberry. What a mess you are always making. The with no food in a good world for me, but that weren't mm, going to keep up the battle. I know that well enough. I started out after breakfast, feeling worried and shaky, and wondering where it was going to fall on me and into what it was going to be. There is a way to keep up some kinds of bad luck, but this wasn't one of them kind. So I never tried to do anything but just to walk along the street and on the watch out. I went down to the front garden and the clump of the stile where you go through the high ball pants. There was an inch of new snow on the ground and I seen somebody's little tracks. Um, they had come out and from the quarry and threw on the stile a uh, while and then uh, when on around the garden fence, it was funny that I hadn't come on come in and after standing around the sewer, I couldn't make out. It was very curious uh, somehow. I was going to follow around, but I stooped down to look at the tracks first. I didn't notice anything at first, but next I did. There was a crust in the left to put his mate with his big nails to give up the double. I was up in a second, I shining um, down the hill. I looked over my shoulder every now and then, but I didn't see nobody. I was at Georgie. That's just as quick as I could get there, she said. Why, my boys, do you are all out of the breast? Uh, did you come up for your interest? No, sir, I says. Um, is there some for me? Oh, yeah. A half few ladies in last night. Over a hundred and fifty dollars. Quite a fortune for you. You'd better let me invest it along with your six thousand because if you take it you will spend it. No sir, I says. I don't want to spend it, I don't want you all at all, nor the six thousand dollars I want you to take it. I want to give it to you the six thousand and all. Ah, he looked surprised. He couldn't seem to make it out, he says. Why? So what can you mean, my boy? I said, um, don't you ask me no question about it? Please, you will take it, won't you? I said, you are not puzzled. Is something the matter? Please take it, says. I uh, don't ask me nothing. Then I won't have to tell no lies. He studied the lies, and then he says, ooh, I think I see. You won't sell all your property to me. Uh, not give him 
and then that's the correct idea. Then he wrote some things on a paper and write it over and says, there you see it says it's the for a consideration. Means I have bought it of you and then pay you for it. And here is the dollars for you. Now you sign it. Mr. Watson's nigger Jim had us hair to bow as big as your fist and then which had been took out of the poor stomach on an arc and he used to do magic with it he said. There was a spring inside of it and it knew everything. And so I went to him that night and told him uh, Pop was uh, here again. For I found his tracks in the snow, but I wanted to know what, what it was going to do and uh, was he going to stay and bring that out to stare the ball. So I said nothing about it and then he held it up and drove it on the floor. It fell pretty solid. And only all about an inch, Jim tried again, and then another time, and it's like, just the same. Jim got down on his knees, put his ear against it, and listened, but it was no use. And he said it wouldn't talk. He said sometimes it wouldn't talk without money. I told him, I don't know, the tricks count with the quarter, I want no good because the blast showed. Through the shiver of the and it wouldn't pass in the house. Even if the brass didn't show up because it was so thick, it was grease and so that would tell on it every time. I like when I wouldn't say nothing about the dollar I got from the dirty. I said it was pretty bad money and that maybe the hair hair would take it because maybe it wouldn't know the difference Jim smart. It and the bit it and the loved it and so they used in manage so the head ball would think it was good, he said he would split up on a low Irish potato. Lick your quarter in between and keep it there alight and next morning you couldn't see no brass and it wouldn't feel greasy no more. And so anybody in town would take it a minute. There are all the hair balls well, I know potatoes do would do that to people. But I had forgot it. Jim put the quarter under the hair bowl and got down and listened. Again this time he said the hair bowl was alright. Said he would tell my whole fortune if I wanted it. I said as go on, the sort of hair bowl talked to Jim and Jim told it to me. He says, you all with father don't know you. So what did you see guy and you? Sometimes it's back to go away. Uh, I suspect they'll stay. What's the language is it? Oh, the old man takes his own way. They are too angry. It's hovering around about him. Oh, uh, no. It is the water and shine on the water. The word is black and the white one. I think him just go white a little white. And then the, uh, the black one says, you know, perfect or up. I put it in. Robert, which is on um, you, fetching that light, and uh, to use the light, you join and to have the considerable curl in your eye, and then considerable dry. Sometimes you join um, the upper, and, and sometimes you join the gas. The better time you join, the girl get a get will, and again, and they send two girls and flying about you and laugh, and then you're all. Um, so, Right on Twitter, so when you try, like, oh, what are you preaching? On Twitter, it's for agents to marry this forest to want to put and then reach one by one and die. Uh, you want to keep the uh, away, hunt the plants into water as much as you can. Again, I want to ask this castle to turn the bull and your jeans and teach for him. So when I lit my candle and went up to my room, and I there set the pet with some shut. Hmm. Been studying chapter four.